Terry Pfo. I'm your residential real estate expert of this neighborhood. Um, and I'm also the vice president of the board. Thanks. <laughs> Um, so she I got just, nominated. That was a bad bad bad. Bad. Slap on the yeah, volunteer. Yeah, volunteer. What you guys want to know about most? Um, so I divided our, our area up by east side, west side of 19th Avenue. Um, on the west side, on this side of the 19th Avenue, um, yeah. our lowest price that sold that closed in last month was 129,000. The average price for this side was 168,000. And the high was 229,000. Um, the pending sales days on market, the average is 11 days. In other words, it goes on the market, it goes pending. Right now, we have two listings that are active in this neighborhood, and we have 15 in the last month that have either closed or pending or sold or um, active. Yes? What's going on with that property just south of the dog park? The yes, sale? yes. They, had it, they originally had it priced, I think, at like, 350 for a 1400 square foot house. It was ridiculous. He got it down to 284.5. Um, he's still overpriced. It's a big, huge lot, and he thinks he's going to get, I don't know what he's thinking, but it's been on the market for um, 122 days, I think. Yeah, something I, like that. I thought I knew. Yeah. So on the east side of 19th Avenue, our um, closed sales <coughs> pending is 34 days. Um, so it's a little bit longer, but still really, really fast for the whole of Phoenix. I think the average in the whole of Phoenix Metro, the uh, days on market is something like 65 days, which is still really, really quick. Um, the east side, the low um, sales was 165. The average was 265, and the high was 339. So you can see the prices are almost $100,000 across the street. But thinking about that, and um, something that Michelle was alluding to with the brick homes and the, um, the different size lots on Hoffman Town and then the ones that are north of that um, as you get closer to Glendale. Um, those homes are just, they're by a different builder, the lot sizes are different, and um, they have irrigated lots. And so there's a lot more appeal to those properties than on our side. But I will say that we're seeing a steady growth that's um, outpacing the average of the, of the county. We're, we're up about 8% from last year, um, year over year for home values, and the rest of the city is doing somewhere 5 to 6%. Did you, say, did you happen to notice uh, new, new times last year? Yes. Uh, you all were named upcoming neighborhood. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Yay. <laughs> it's only been upcoming since 1950. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad, I'm glad it was high. <laughs> uh, yes. Yeah. yeah, okay, so the last thing I wanted to mention was that there are some upcoming listings. I am, I have my finger on the pulse of the neighborhood, so I'm trying to watch real carefully. I have, um, I don't think I, ha I have some business cards, but if you are interested in getting a market report from me, I have a little sign-up sheet up here. You can just put your email address and your, na your name, and I can send you data that's similar to what we're getting here, and I can send it um, every other week or so. Um, also, I'm developing a plan for people that are, um, needing to sell because they need to downsize or they need to go into assisted living and I have um, a contractor that is willing to come in we'll take care of everything we'll take care of your possessions we'll take care of um, you know we'll do it at a low commission cost for you so that you can just move on to your next it's only for this neighborhood I'm not gonna offer that to anybody else just for this neighborhood as a service to you guys okay the last thing I wanted to mention um, that's it let me know if, uh, like I said, I know some listings that are coming available. If you have buyers, people that you know, people you love, that you want to move into this neighborhood, we would love to have your friends and family move here. I myself have already moved two of my friends into this neighborhood Yay. on my street um, because I really believe in this neighborhood. So, And we've lived here for almost 18 years ourselves. Oh. So. Um, Please look me up if you need anything, and I'm happy to serve. Yes, sir. Any opinion of the uh, Continental Villas townhomes on 19th Avenue in Maryland? They're lovely. They're very nice uh, as far as um, property values increasing. Yeah. I, they're they're keeping pace as far as I haven't looked at, at them individually, but I have been watching them. There's a few new listings coming in there, and they're about 180, 185. So they are actually comparable to the single family homes that are in our neighborhood, um, and they're a little bit smaller. Continental Villas. Oh, Continental. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, those are very, very nice, and they were all built, I think, in the 60s, weren't they? 70s. 70s, 71. Wow. Yeah, so, and they've been, the neighborhood has kept up, and the HOA has done a great job of keeping those homes very, very nice. So, any other questions? Thank you so much. Yes, sir, Steve. Have you dealt with any historical properties outside of the Washington Park neighborhood? I have not had the pleasure of working with any okay. historical but I have been looking at it and very interested in, in looking at those types of things, yeah. Anybody else? All right, thank you.